Wrestling fans around the world know me as John Morrison, Johnny Mundo, the mayor of Slamtown, the shaman of sexy, and some nicknames not so nice. But my real name is John Hennigan. And this is my story. And this is my story. My story. My story. My story. My story. In these words, they are my story. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk uh, independent wrestling and independent filmmaking today with our guests. Very excited to uh, have this chat, but please uh, subscribe to the show. Check everything out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Plenty of shows, interviews, uh, recap shows, all kinds of fun content that we're putting out there on a weekly basis. Jeez, almost daily basis at this point, I guess. Uh, and you can subscribe to this show specifically, Indie Mayhem Show, on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. And, of course, the video versions are on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook and YouTube pages. And subscribe to them. You never know when we're going to go live with things, uh, including uh, these interviews that will especially pop up. Uh, whenever we can get them scheduled here on the Facebook Live uh, on this uh, Friday afternoon, for instance, or morning. I don't know. Time zones. Depends on where you are. Uh, but uh, And please support the show. Communicate with us, 412-206-WMS0, or good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, and support the show through Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Speaking of crowdfunding sources... We we're going to be talking about a very exciting project coming up here because one somebody who's neck deep in a crowdfunding campaign right now is Ray Zombie returning to the show. Uh, geez, video video producer extraordinaire, I guess. You're doing a lot of stuff down there in Austin, Texas. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing a lot every day. <laughs> Just a quick review because uh, obviously we had a longer conversation about all the stuff that you're into. Uh, we did uh, probably about a year ago now, I think. Um, oh, so long. Yeah. It, it, so much has happened since, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, real, real quick re- recap: uh, Who are you? What are you into? And kind of talk about your connection with pro wrestling. Uh, I'm Ray. Uh, I'm 25. I'm from Austin. I've been doing a lot of wrestling stuff since I got here. Pretty much, uh, I've been working with Inspire Pro Wrestling as a director and editor for the shows, uh, and that's kind of what put me into the life of wrestling. I've always watched wrestling. It's always been a, a thing I've been into. Um, but I just kind of fell into it work-wise. And uh, I've been doing a lot of wrestling stuff since then. And then in turn, I've also just been doing a, a lot of video stuff, whether it's editing movies or, or being on productions and you know all the other good stuff. Uh, and now I'm making a movie. So that's I think that's like the caveat of, of where I, what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and we've had this discussion in the past, but I've always been really impressed with the look and feel. Um, if there's a, like a, a, a great uh, wrestling promotion that has from graphics to visuals and everything, and you're a big part of that, of course, on the video side, uh, I think Inspire Pro Wrestling has been really impressive with that. Uh, so I would definitely recommend checking that from the from the posters that that the company puts out to the videos that I see from you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to Eric because he's been assistant editor for that show now. He's uh, helping me out a lot where I can actually just focus on, on nice things like the graphics and the, the the color grading and all that good stuff. So shout out to him for helping me out. <laughs> color grading in indie wrestling when I'm still trying to just make my two cameras match. <laughs> is, yeah, is... <laughs> trying to, you know, just trying to make it not look like that was our that was our initial conversations. I really hate the look of indie wrestling and right. I really hate when people think of it. They think of like shitty underground stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, my whole deal is like I want to make it look better. Yeah, it's it's kind of like if we put a nice filter over everything and makes it look X, then you kind of have an expectation set, right? Yeah, yeah. Just um, everything kind of like the 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 production value just goes up a little bit, mm-hmm. and in indie wrestling, I think that's really important. Just like, to to make it you know more more palpable to consume. I might have to start adopting that kind of idea. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of my productions here, uh, but anyway, so you're involved. Uh, mostly, I want to talk about your your uh, latest project here, 
which is Wrestling with Independence. Um, it's uh, you know a lot of familiar faces again. If you follow Inspire Pro Wrestling or hell, if you Inspire old versions of this show, there's some familiar faces that pop up in here as well, including uh, follow, including Amon. I mean, uh, What's that? Yeah, yeah. If you follow uh, you know WWE, you'll see people from that too. Oh, absolutely. So I mean, it's a great mix, and it's everybody like like can i say like on every tier of wrestling at this point i mean even even chris chris true's in this um and uh sammy callahan you know uh, matt hardy you know uh, for the guys on audio not seeing the video that we're running right now um can you so what you know how did this project come about first of all uh project came about probably in a thought process about a year ago um there was a lull between inspire pro shows and while that was happening i kind of thought about Wanting to make a documentary, uh, kind of about Inspire Pro uh, during, but that time, like I was, it was, it was like a fool's dream because I didn't have the money, I didn't have the experience. Now I know I didn't have the experience. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have the equipment. I wasn't ready to do anything like that last year. And um, over the course of of the last year, I've gained, I feel like, enough experience and enough, uh, enough equipment, enough, I don't know, uh, friendships in in wrestling. To be able to say, yeah, I want to, I want to make a movie over the over the business, over the professional independent wrestling business, because it's not like the main thing about the movie is that it's not about wrestling. It's it's the human aspect of these people. I can make a. I've been saying like this analogy, like if I really like food and I like chefs and I worked in in a restaurant industry, I could make a movie that's the same as what I'm making now, but about chefs, you know. It's it's more about the people who want to follow their goals, who have passion, and they want to achieve their dreams. It's it's about that. That's it awesome. Happens that it, yeah, it just so happens that it, like it falls in the world of wrestling because that's mm. what I'm involved in. That's great. So so you know what yeah you know, what was your kind of thinking like? Is it I mean you know is this gonna like an interview doc like you know is it about like that weird the like, weird stories backstage or you know like kind of what's the general gist of this? The idea is uh, I have a lot of sit down interviews and it's just, it's, it's literally the real life, the real, there's, it's not, you know, it's not, Hey, like, what's this story of you going over here? It's like, no, it's like, uh, you know, what, what, why are you doing this? Like, tell me about the times you've had trouble trying to follow what you're trying to do. Uh, how you feel right now during, you know, your journey, um, for, for people like Matt Hardy, I'm like, so how do you know, how do you feel? When people look up to you, when when you are literally literally the inspiration for other people to do what they're doing, um, I'm I'm trying to ask questions that don't get that nobody really asks to them mm-hmm. as people, you know? Because a lot of times uh, they'll go on, like on shoot interviews or whatever and be like, "Oh, tell me about the wrestling time here," but I want to know more of like the heart, you know? Absolutely, that's something we can relate to here. Uh, cause it, yeah, there's a lot of, it, cause it's an interesting motivation, uh, you know, cause you know, you probably, you know, familiar as like what gets you into video is, is you have a passion for it. Right. And right. kind of that idea of what, 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 what gives you that passion of, you know, throw, throwing yourself against a mat, you know, multiple times a night, you know, for a hot, a hot dog and a handshake to begin with. Right. Uh, yeah, so yeah. The, and the, the people that push ba- through that to get to a WWE or one of the other groups is, is really interesting. Right. Yeah. And it's, um, it's, it's been really good. Like all the stories I've been listening to, uh, something big that happened to me, I think was, uh, the second interview I had was with, uh, Terrell Tempo and the dude's, uh, the same age as I am. And, um, like during the, our conversation together, uh, I realized like how much we relate in terms, you know, we're both in two different industries and two different mindsets, but we both struggle the same. Like mm-hmm. me, like we we have the same type of uh, problems that we both face, and uh, just doing them, like you know this this dude and others like him go out, and they go out to, and they go out to a sea of fans that just love them and applaud them and all that stuff, and they're this character for you know fifteen twenty minutes, and they go back through the curtain, and they have to be themselves, they have to go through their struggles, they have to go through their lives, and uh, it was just really that was really eye opening when I did that interview. That was the second interview I did, and I was like, oh. I'm stumbling onto something here. I'm I'm getting what I was thought I was going to get. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's so a little bit of that that kind of that kind of high that comes along with it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and all the lows because there's a lot of lows, mm-hmm. and uh, it's something I want to 
I want to showcase that it's not all glamour, it's not all happiness. That these people are humans. They, you know, they go through stuff that we go through. They're, you know, it's just that we, we as a fan base, will go and watch them and be happy, but, but they have lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, like you say, it's an interesting group of people that you have on here. It, it, and again, you know, kind of what what stage are you of the filming at this point? Because it's always interesting to see. Because some people go into an Indiegogo and they literally have nothing on the table yet. You have a good trailer. You, we have you know footage that we're showing here in the video version of this podcast and everything. Mm-hmm. Like like how far in the process of making this movie? Uh, obviously, it says in your Indiegogo, you know, paying back the debts to, for the production, maybe so far and things like that. Right. Um, it's not so much debts. It's just, it's kind of just the production cost of what we're at too right now. Right. Um, I, I want to say to in my, my vision of the movie, I think we're like 50% there. Okay. Uh, for, for what I want. We, I, we've been, I have a, I have a small crew of guys that have been working with me. They also, their passion is film. They want to be involved in the, in this industry and I'm an avenue for that. <laughs> I can provide that. So, uh, they've been helping me out with this and, uh, we've been shooting since January uh, up until you know um, a couple weeks ago, and it's been interviews. It's been going to actual shows and doing uh, uh, interviews in the back and and getting good B roll of what's going on uh, at the show. Uh, for my for my vision, fifty percent. We could I could theoretically make a movie now with everything I have, mm-hmm. and I think it'd be pretty all right. But I know it can be a lot better, and uh, that's kind of the point of this of the Indiegogo and the crowdfunding is that. I, I'd like to make this a lot better, and it can only happen if I have help at this point. Absolutely. Um, what? Where did? Is this your first crowd crowdfunding campaign? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I've been researching crowdfunding campaigns for about a month before this, and, and like you said, like uh, a lot of times people go into an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter or whatever, and they're just like, "This is my idea," and I kind of wanted to avoid that. I don't want to say I have an idea. I I want to say I have something already that you can invest in, in and you can guarantee that something's going to happen from it. I want to, I want to prove that it looks good. I want to prove that I have the people that, that I say I'm going to get. Uh, so it's, it's been, it's been, uh, interesting. Uh, it's, we've raised, uh, 1500 so far or 1586. And, uh, that's over the course of four days. Cause today's what Friday, five days started the campaign on Monday. So I think it's been fairly su- successful. Awesome. Since it started. Awesome. And of course you you have, you know, and I'm looking at the numbers of this thing and when you when you consider the production of a movie and some people may say, "Oh, you know, $10,000, that's insane." But that is nothing <laughs> when it yeah. comes to <laughs> pro- production and things like that. And I said, yeah. you obviously as we discussed with the In- Inspire Pro, you definitely pride yourself on the post production. You're definitely very heavy and, and, and good at that side of it um you know color grading is something that i have mildly wrapped my head around as a video producer uh myself mm-hmm. and uh you know it, it, you know it, so so there's these different levels of this and uh it, it's great to see this response so far uh so so it, again this is indiegogo this isn't all or nothing i believe it actually even you pay when you you submit on this thing uh mm-hmm. like is it, it's one of these the movie's I'm presuming from reading this, the movie is happening regardless of how this campaign goes. Yes, a hundred percent. I'm I'm making this movie like it's gonna happen. I'm just asking for help because mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it, it's just like you said, uh, movies are expensive. I, people don't realize that. <laughs> uh, I feel like for a documentary, I feel like a lot of people think I'm grabbing a camera and just sticking it in people's faces and saying, "Please talk," when that's not what I'm doing. Uh, when I when I'm going to the indie shows, that's me and me and a couple other people for sound and for lighting. We, you know, I'm, I'm I have boom mics going on. We have lighting going on. We have tripods setting up. A lot of that stuff just for the for the live shows, and um, that all that all just kind of costs a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, so, like, there's like the indie goes in three goals. The first goal is four thousand. Excuse me, <clears throat> and. Um, and four thousand is to is is for the production of it up to this point. That's how much it's it's cost. Uh, this is cameras. This is lighting. This is sound. This is travel. Uh, I'm I can't pay the dudes that are with me, and that sucks. I hate it. But the most I'm doing is like after a shoot, uh, I'll take them out to go eat, and then I'll pay for the food. 
And like that, that will go like a hundred bucks. And it's not like a lot, but it, it, it all adds up when you do it, you know, 10 times. <laughs> and, um, it's just, it's production costs for that. Uh, the next tier, the next goal is uh 7,500 and, uh, that's for post-production so we can guarantee our time for it. And so it can outsource for sound mixing. Uh, cause I'm, I'm okay at that, but I, I, I know people who are better than I am and I want to be able to make a good movie. Uh, and then like the tier after that is 10,000 and that's like the, that's a goal that I don't know if we're going to reach, but it'd be, it'd be something where I could say, cool, now we're going to go out of state. Cause I have, I have a few contacts that will allow me to go to, uh, to like Chikara or something like that. I could go to LA and, and meet some people there. Cause there's a lot of wrestlers in LA, uh, and that's that's the ten thousand goal is to make this the absolute dream movie that I imagine it being. Absolutely, uh, that's great. Yeah, because it, it is that is one thing that happens. And, and you know, when there's, there's been a few documentaries of indie wrestling, and they seem very localized, right? But it's mm-hmm. again, it's what you have access to. Yeah, and uh, I want to I want to do as much as I can to uh, I don't know grow to to get as many people as I can. Mm-hmm. A really like big big shout out to Al from Wrestle Circus because he produces a beautiful show and he gets a lot of people like a lot of recognizable people into Austin and that's how I have the ability to interview Matt Hardy and and Johnny Mundo and Leva Bates and Joey Ryan all these guys because uh it's it's them coming to Austin and uh, it's 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 a bit of dream to <laughs> to do that it's weird with Matt Hardy because I was like. At WrestleMania 25, I was watching the dude fight his brother. <laughs> and then, you know, however many years later, I'm next to him and I'm asking him questions and he's being super friendly about it. And then two weeks later, he's WWE. So it's like, it's just, it's little stuff like that. So shout out to Al for allowing that to happen. And even beyond that, like the, the main picture that I see um, uh, floating around here for, for, I guess it's kind of your logo card, is uh, with Ray Rowe. Wait, am I, am, I, am I getting the tattoos right or am I seeing somebody else? You know what? I think I just uh, saw no, tattoos. Yeah, that's, that's somebody else, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's, that's Ray Rowe. Uh, shout out to Joel for allowing me to use his beautiful pictures uh, as, mm-hmm. for campaigning and postering. Uh, I really love that that poster of Ray Rowe getting headlocked or, or whatever it is. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get him in the in the movie, which would be nice because he's a poster guy. <laughs> that's great. So... Uh, yeah, like I've got a good amount of people that are helping me out with this with this project. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we mentioned with the promotions and everything. It seems like there's a there's this over maybe like I remember talking about Texas wrestling with Eamon, you know, at like you know, years ago, and it, yeah. did, it did not look like the landscape now between Wrestle Circus and Spire Pro and all these guys coming through on just sounds like you know incredible shows down there, right? Yeah. And uh, and to see even guys that. Um, I don't know how many people have come through Inspire Pro be f- kind of on their way to the next level. Right, right, right. And I think you have some of them uh, kind of lined up on interviews in this movie. A mm-hmm. uh, big one is uh, is uh, Delilah Doom. Mm-hmm. I know one day she's going to be she's going to be in WWE. She's been a performance center a lot, and uh, she, she's my buddy, man. Like I love her. She I can't wait till she grows and becomes a better version of herself. And uh, luckily, she's giving me her time to be in this movie so stuff stuff like that people like her absolutely so there's somebody that we've seen grow here on this show we've had her on at least a couple of times i think we had her on after maybe her fourth match mm-hmm. like in the beginnings and, and again another one that that has a you know is sticks out there you know and is doing some great stuff down there it's awesome right so. and it's cool because like you get to see them like outwardly grow in their jobs mm-hmm. it, being you know professional wrestling and then uh i get to go in and just like understand how that's been affecting them you know like uh a lot of these dudes are giving me like just insane stories like sam Guevara's his story of how of his his job that he had while he was wrestling and how how he got fired from it he gave me this like this beautiful story and it was just it was literally like all or nothing for him Mm -hmm. and now he's getting so much attention and and it's just stuff like that that's awesome you you gotta hit most of those stories are littered with the like people Hitting rock bottom and then jumping up, right? Uh, yeah, I try. I try and figure out what their rock bottom is, and I try and figure out what they're what they're struggling with. Like a uh, something that I I've been asking a lot of black wrestlers is uh, how they're dealing with like the racism that they that they see, because that's not, that's not something like we actually think about. 
but there are there are a lot of people out there that just don't agree with black people. <laughs> so, and then these guys are like going from cross country to you know international stuff, and just something with Keith Liam, I, he gave me a good insight of how he deals with that. And uh, it, you know, it's not something I feel like many people talk about. Absolutely, because you got to think they're they're you know most of the time kind of in the middle in the outreach towns, right? Where where that's kind of a different vibe. So yeah. Absolutely, all all over. Uh, so you know, like I said, we're we're early in this. There's about a month left as of this recording. By the time this uh, our, our our final production of this, uh, you catching this on uh, Facebook Live or, or afterwards in our podcast stream or something, we'll, we'll probably be in our uh, three weeks left at that point. Um, mm-hmm. Are you you know what what's expected? What's kind of coming out? Anything to look forward to on the campaign? Because I know a lot of crowd funders will do. Uh, you know, making sure everybody's updated and maybe show, show some more behind the scenes or anything. Do you have anything planned out that people can expect from, you know, at least over this next month, the campaign or, or, or in the future, as you guys go through production to keep updated as, as a, as a backer? Yeah, uh, completely. The updates are going to be frequent. I've been, I've already, already had did one for the, the first day, just being like, Holy crap. Like we're actually, I'm actually, you know, people are actually donating that, that that's the first thing that got me is that people believed. And uh, it's been it means a lot. So, a hundred percent, I have I'm going to keep everybody updated with everything because this is I'm not very good at asking for help, and I'm not, and I'm even worse at asking for money. <laughs> so this is like this is it. This is both of those things. So uh, I am I am obligated to keep people up to date. Um, here soon, I think we're gonna we're gonna unleash a new perk that allows you to uh, buy the DVD, and um, I think that's going to be going to be pretty cool because all it is right now is like digital digital downloads and posters and stuff like that. Um, I feel like a DVD might be in the works where we can get, send you a physical copy so you can, you can put it up there with all your other indie wrestling stuff. Um, and then, uh, just, uh, throughout the, throughout the campaign, uh, I'm working on doing a BTS behind the scenes, uh, uh, shoot. So you can see like kind of what we do and how we do it. Uh, that's in the works, um, and stuff like that. So, completely going to be a hundred percent talking to everybody and making sure everybody's updated and everybody knows that it's not, nobody's going to throw their money away. Like this is not a thing where people are going to throw their money away. It's mm-hmm. going to be a thing that you, you're investing in and you're helping me out and that it's, it's important and it's going to happen. And, and another, I want to get to the perks here in a second too, but, but I, I think it's interesting for those curious and you just answered a lot of my questions because I'm always like, how do they do that? You know, when, when, when you know talking about the looks and everything like that, uh, mm-hmm. it, it informs me. I love, I love how much you, you, there's a pie chart guys. And I'm excited about this pie chart because <laughs> <laughs> there's, you, you break down exactly what the hell is the money going towards out of what we want for the movie, which is of course that, that $7,500 goal. Right. And there's, you know, Hey, look, this is what post-production is. And this is what we did now. And this is, this is the sound and the camera equipment and production and everything. Music licenses, which I don't think a lot of people think about, right? Especially in yeah. indie, especially in indie wrestling, right. I think you you know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but uh, you know, but there's also yeah a breakdown of what you're using, you know, uh, as far as this, you know, and as as a video producer, I'd love to see that, like a little bit of behind the scenes, you know, right. why, you know, how do things look the way? What are your what's your method on this? You know, uh, things. I like think that. something something that's surprising is. Uh, to a lot of people is that post-production is half and post-production being editing the movie. Yeah. Uh, because like, you know, you can, it, it literally is half of what you spend your money on. And, uh, that, that takes so much time and you have to pay so many people. It's, it's, uh, it's a process, man. Like right now from, from January to now, I, we have about 40 to 50 hours of footage mm-hmm. and, and I'm in my mind and what I've done, that's about, half of the movie and the movie is like an hour and a half. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of work to condense it down. I have, um, I, I've done already a few scenes that I'm planning to put in the movie. Uh, one of them being, there's a, a match that Matthew Palmer and uh, Steve-O had at the last Aspire show. And during that match, uh, Matthew Palmer, it was a hardcore match and Matthew Palmer, he, he nicked the side of his head and he opened up a gash and it just bled everywhere. And after the, after the match, uh, I caught up with him. Like I did, I got everything from the moment he left the ring. He went into the trainer's room. He was getting stitched up. 
And he just gave me like, I asked him a few questions. He just gave me like the most real gritty look into somebody's life after this type of match, like what they, what they feel, what they're, you know, about their past and their present, what they just did and how it's going to affect the future and stuff. And, uh, that's like, you know, it's like six minutes <laughs> of the whole movie, but it's so, it's so integral, I think, to what I'm trying to show in this movie. And it's just, you know, I've been there, I was there from 11 in the morning to about 12 at night. And, uh, for behind the scenes, that's pretty much like the best thing I got. And it's about six minutes of time. So it takes, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy to get good things. And then I hope the pie chart kind of shows that, uh, I'm not throwing money away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, it's, it, it's all going back to, uh, the movie itself. Absolutely. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what you have uh, in offerings other than the upcoming DVD option. Obviously, $25, you get the show, you get the digital download, but w what other perks are you offering, uh, at least up to this point? Right, yeah. So uh, the featured one is uh, 25 bucks, and that's the movie itself. You buy it. That's the first perk that somebody bought. Like The first time anybody put any money into it was the movie, and that kind of freaked out a little bit because I was just like, oh, man. Like someone's someone is buying the movie and they're gonna watch it and that's that's crazy to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> after that, you got you know you got the the baby perks, the five dollars, the ten dollars, five dollars just being like a general thank you, ten dollars being a special thing so that you can you can have your name show up in the credit of the of the film. Fifteen dollars is me sending you a, a postcard <laughs> uh, with a little um, the little little poster of the of the movie in a postcard form, and uh, me thanking you. Fifty bucks is being the movie and the poster. Uh, Posters in eleven by seventeen, so it's decent size. Um, One hundred and fifty is it's kind of like a special perk for Inspire Pro, uh, where you get to go backstage and meet wrestlers and stuff, and you know you'll be under special thanks. You'll get the movie, you'll get a poster. I already have somebody who bought that, and that's insane. Uh, <laughs> and so, shout out to Inspire Pro for uh, letting me letting me use them <laughs> for uh, for campaigning. And then uh, after that, it's just kind of it kind of jacks up for five hundred for associate producer, one thousand for executive producer, and then uh, there's this crazy one that I call El Patron. Uh, it's a three thousand dollar one, and it's um it's a movie poster, but it's signed by a lot of people that have appeared in this movie, and uh, it's it's more it's you know I don't know if it's valued that much, but it's more of like holy crap, like you really like thank you whoever buys this thing, uh, let me try and give you as much as I can, and. Uh, yeah, so hopefully people enjoy those types of perks. Uh, and, and I've seen uh, you know, other kind of crowdfunded like podcasts and things. Like I've seen them encourage. It's like, listen, if you pay X amount, you know, to help support this show, you're an executive producer, and you can put that on a resume almost, right? Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. You're like, hey, I, I supported this project, and and you know, and and and, and you get attached to that. Like that is that, that's a legitimate thing in the film business. Yeah, in the in film associate and executive producer, if you are. If you are looking to get involved in more things, those are like to have that name, to have your name credited as an associate or executive. It's, it goes a long way because there's a lot of people out there that that are doing campaigns or or doing whatever, and they realize that you are an important person and that you can that you have input into whatever you're doing, and uh, that you value somebody's time. It's just that's it's, it goes a long way if you're looking to do something with that. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's a great thing if you're looking to uh, kind of up the ante on, on on projects that you're working on in this kind of space. So awesome. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so you know, anything else you're working on? You wanna you wanna plug at this point? Because I feel like this is the all encompassing right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I'm finishing the uh, the edit to Seven Hill City, which is the first feature film I've been working on. Nice. Uh, it's directed by Brandon Stroud. Uh, also. Very good. Also went on Indiegogo. It raised seven thousand dollars, and it was very successful. Um, been doing that. Been working wrestling shows. Inspire. Uh, that's been that's been going nice. That's been going very well. We're, we've been hitting a lot of good stuff here in Austin with a new venue and everything. Uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of and a bunch of little projects, like little little stuff nobody cares about, like just corporate side jobs that I have to do to make money mm -hmm. <laughs> to live and pay rent. Uh, but mostly it's. Oh, and and then also, uh, me and my buddy are starting up a uh, a wedding videography thing because weddings are are pretty big here in uh in Texas and Austin. A lot of people come down here to do a lot of weddings. Uh, so it's been pretty busy. 
it's been it's been very busy actually yeah. and uh, i'm just trying to that's why i'm if i can if i can have uh this indiegogo campaign be successful then i can just kind of put all of that to the wayside and just focus on this instead of like trying to get other jobs to be able to to you know live because that's that well as you talked about a little bit of that crossover about what what you're into and in, and in, in wrestling and, and, and i can relate to this like there's the projects you want to work on and then there's you know like or there's the wrestling shows you want to be doing and then there's the thing that pays the bills right uh until yeah. you can build that up enough and so like that that, that balance striking that chord uh, and it's a little different because it's not a well. I have to make sure my Friday, Saturday, Sundays are free to travel and do that thing, you know. Right. Uh, but still, it's you have to have kind of a mix in there until you build that thing up. But yeah, so I've been I've been fortunate enough to where uh, I've been doing enough freelancing where I can save up money and put more money into items, into into equipment, and then go off and be able to shoot stuff like what I'm shooting now for uh, wrestling with independence. So I've been I've been fortunate. I've been very fortunate that I can I have the ability to do that. Awesome. Uh so what um I just missed my next question. I stepped I skipped ahead, but uh, <laughs> about raisezombie.com I want to throw out here because I was actually showing a little bit of footage of uh this uh music video on your front page a little bit. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that sorry. Was, uh, sorry, this is distracting me because there's so much going on in front of my screen right now. <laughs> so. If you if you like Turquoise Jeep, they uh they had uh, like a, a call out to make a music video for them and they would be featured in uh one of their uh videos i guess and uh, me and my buddy went off and did that kind of because i wanted to prove that i could do a music video mm-hmm. and uh so we went off and did it it's it's got me a good amount of attention i, I got i shot a couple things at south by for a couple people that they they enjoy the way i edit music videos yeah you one up to me because you got to do a music video and you didn't have to work with virgil like i did uh, so, <laughs> no, nah, the 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 dude is uh who I've been, who was in that music video that you're watching is uh is Victor and he's he's been my longtime friend and he he was awesome to work with. Awesome, you haven't lived until you've tried to direct Virgil on how to drum. <laughs> so, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, so so you know just. Uh, Getting back into our usual questions, what are you watching these days as far as wrestling? Obviously, a lot of independence is in your purview, but what's kind of catching your attention? Anything new popping up? Uh, anything you're liking on TV? Uh, what's kind of uh, uh, got, got you? I've been trying to love Impact. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little... Eh. <laughs> we have, uh, but we have the, our guy's been struggling to watch Impact, at least. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not... I, I, so my, my life is so involved with wrestling. I I hate watching it sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I'll throw on I'll throw on Monday Night Raw because I've been doing that since I was like twelve or younger. And uh, you know I'll keep it in the background while I work. It's just I have to dedicate. I can't dedicate three hours of my life to watching uh, wrestling on the beginning of the week. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, aside from that, I'm just I'm, I keep up with with Japan and and all that stuff, but. Uh, it's it's mostly just independent stuff right now because I'm trying to make this movie happen. Awesome. What is the best and worst thing about being a weekend on your independent uh, production crowdfunding campaign? <laughs> the, wait, one more time. Wait, one more time. What the is question? the? I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to twist the question a little bit. But what is the best and worst thing about being a weekend on your crowdfunding campaign for your independent film? Oh, okay, okay. Weekend. <laughs> uh, the best thing about it is that I started it. Uh, the, night, the night before uh, this went up, I was I was honestly dreading putting it up, mostly because it's it's weird. Like I'm being judged by a lot of people mm-hmm. uh, for what for the, what I'm putting up, and I'm asking for help and I'm asking for money. And man, dude, like asking for money is so weird. I don't want to I don't want to disappoint anybody, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm also like pretty much saying like, here's my heart. Like, please don't rip it open. This is my this is my baby that I'm working on. Uh, so the best thing was, was getting through it, was putting it up and then seeing people actually respond to it positively. And then the worst thing is there's people that respond to it negatively. And, um, (laughs) I've been accused of just trying to like go to more free shows. And I'm just like, dude, like I work for most of these people and I've done work for most of these people. (laughs) Like they're, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're all doing me a favor by allowing me to be with them at their shows and stuff and being backstage and all that good stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing this for free shows. Like I like wrestling, but I don't like wrestling enough to drive two hours 
to stay backstage and uh and try and get interviews so mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it, it, it that alone is a stressful proposition. Um, I and mean, that's the thing; people only see the surface of what you put out there. They don't see uh, the work and the connections and everything uh, on the back end, right? Yeah, honestly, like I, I I haven't seen an indie wrestling show to its fullest in so long because if it's Inspire Pro, like I'm directing people around and I'm trying to get stuff done in the back or or whatever. And if I'm at other shows, I'm literally in the back trying to make sure it's okay if I can talk to this guy and try and build a connection. It's really weird trying to trying to talk to somebody and uh and not be disrespectful. That's that's something I really try and do during the shows because a lot of the dudes who are working that night, they're they they don't just work the match. They work before it and they you know they come up with what they're gonna do and, and all this good stuff. And then afterwards they decompress and they're talking about the match itself and and how it went, what they could do to improve themselves. And I want to catch him in that period of time where it's acceptable to walk up to them and say, Hey, could you spare me you know, a few minutes of your time for this, for this movie that I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, hopefully with Indiegogo here, I can now say, look, this is a real thing, uh, and be more approachable. Cause before this, it's, it was, uh, just based on my word. And I think I've built up enough good rapport in Austin to where people, uh, they, they trust me. Mm. enough and that's that's very big i think uh in the wrestling world is trust yeah you, you even as open as it as it is like it's still hard to be the guy like i get this all the time like you know you know hey uh, can you be on my podcast and it's kind of a well why is you know i had a former tna wrestler a couple weeks ago ask like what's your reach and i'm like that's not a question i got from a wrestler before you know uh right. but uh you know it, what what is the thing that um really surprised you as you started digging in this, um, you know, whether one of the stories or interacting with somebody maybe new or something like that, that really kind of stuck out to you. I think I'll go back to the trust on that. That surprised me is how candid some of these guys were that, that they allowed themselves to be with this film. Uh, like wrestling's a weird world. It's, uh, it's weird to be around it. It's weird to be in it. And, uh, certain people follow certain rules of what they can or can't say or can or can't do. And uh, just being allowed to peek behind the curtain and put it on the camera like that, that was surprising is that they, that they did that. Another thing was um, Johnny Mundo, <laughs> how awesome he was at the very beginning. Cause like I think in February or so uh, I was trying to get a, uh, more outreach with more viewers, or not viewers, sorry, uh, with more wrestlers and stuff and uh, promoters and such trying to say, Hey, I'm making this film. Would you, allow me some time, you know, X day for four hours to sit down and have an interview with you. And, uh, the person who got back to me immediately was Johnny Mundo. He sent me, uh, sent me an email, right? Like immediately, like the day I was like, yeah, dude, like this sounds amazing. I'd, I'd totally love to be a part of it. And that kind of like gave me the courage pretty much to be able to say, yeah, okay, I, I can do this. I can, I can talk to people. I can make stuff happen. And then, um, yeah, so shout out to Johnny Mundo for pretty much being like a good push into allowing me to have the courage to go ahead and try and do this. And that's it. It, it was surprising that he that he was so okay with it because he's you know he's a guy that I watched when I was a kid, <laughs> and like now we talk. <laughs> so it's uh it's weird. It's weird, and I love it. And the guy is doing like great things, you know, between Lucha Underground and he has a movie coming out which. I find infinitely entertaining by the trailer, uh, where he's a, the the parkour bounty hunter or whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So which is just like that. That's the guy. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. I, I hear a lot of great things about him uh, from people who have had interactions with him as well. So all yeah, right, he's uh, he's amazing. So uh, one last chance. Tell everybody where they can find you online. Your other projects, the Indiegogo. Go, where do people go? Uh, so uh, everything in the world that I have is under RayZombie.com. Uh, there you can go to Indiegogo to uh, to all my work that I've done, uh, everything. Uh, my Twitter is at the Ray Zombie, and uh, that's where I talk a lot. <laughs> and pretty much the whole week has just been promotions of this uh, of this film. And I kind of feel bad about that because I, I use Twitter, but it was just spamming this. But yeah, RayZombie.com dot com is where you'll find everything that I do ever. Awesome. Go check it out. There's a lot of fun stuff there for wrestling fans and non-wrestling fans. But if you're listening to this, you're 
probably a wrestling fan. Uh, so thank you so much. Great to have another discussion with you here. Uh, Ray Zombie, hopefully I can yes, swing it out of Texas. We can uh, 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 chat chat video over a beer or something at some point. Here. Yeah, man. Really so, appreciate you having me on, man. Uh, most important thing about this Indigo campaign is sharing it. Absolutely. So uh, whoever, whoever can share it, I, I would love that. And if you want to donate, you know, donate five bucks. <laughs> I, I highly encourage Mayhemers out there. Um, you know, this, this, this is going to be a fun project. And uh, becoming a part of it, it's really cool to become part of a, a big project. And when when everybody's talking about this in what, probably a year when this is out and about, uh, you can say that you had a little piece of that or a big piece of that, depending on what, what, what you picked up on this. So, right, right. so. Uh, I think it should be out in the fall of 2017 if everything go. goes well so it'll be it'll be this year hopefully awesome awesome so please go check that out thank you so much and of course check out all the rest of the interviews we have going on uh we've talked to other people that have had kickstarters and crowdfunding including and uh just if i can do a side shout out to headlocked who's got a uh, kickstarter going on right now for their comic book actually uh, with Mike Kingston that we've uh, talked to several times on the show, uh, you know, go support these wrestling projects because it's really cool to see these in other mediums and see this, you know, especially independence and kind of the 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 behind the scenes and what is really going on with pro wrestling. Uh, kind of have those stories be told in all kinds of media. So, and of course, all those conversations are Indie Mayhem Show on our uh, wherever you may subscribe to us on video or audio versions, and check out everything at Wrestling Mayhem Show. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.